Mark Mark yeah, this model heat week. Um, so I'm gonna get in a workout today. I'm just gonna do some upper body. I'm gonna do some cardio. Um, pretty much keeping uh, my meals the same, adding in 30 grams of extra carbs uh, every night. Tomorrow will be something similar, um, and uh, I'll be having the burger and fries at night. So that is kind of where we are at right now. Um, it's 7:55. Um, I've had a meal so far. I've got to train two clients this morning. The train one at her house. I'll come back, have a meal, train myself, train a client, then head home and have my post workout. I should still be within that hour window, so that's kind of how I like to do it. Um, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it right now. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update. Um, I'll post again some of my check-in video and I'm going to be doing uh, some posing today and check-in video tonight for bed as well. So there's that. Anyway, um, that is the update so far. That is where we are at and what we're doing and I will check with you guys later. Okay everyone, so here is one of the videos that I sent Jamie. Um, this was where I was like, man, I just, I'm not looking right. I don't know what's going on with my body. I weighed, I was like 127. And I was like, this isn't going to work if I'm not leaner. Um, which I know to, you know, just the normal person looking at this, they're like, probably what, WTF, what are you talking about? Um, but I was holding water that day. I did feel super like bloated and just off. I just was not feeling well at all. Um, so that's one of the videos I sent. I then sent this next one. And um, I think in this one, you can see like my abs are more faded. Um, I just look watery. And that was the feedback that I got from Jamie. So I <laughs> You know, at this point, I was just super concerned, and that's when I decided to just send her this video and shoot her a message and say, hey, look, I don't know if this mock peak week is going to work. My body's super stressed out, and I'm kind of just all over the place. So that's kind of when I was freaking out really bad and was like, man, I don't know what's going on. So there's that. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on here and talk 
really quick about like what I'm feeling and all that kind of stuff because I, I, I'm not happy with how I look right now. Like I just got finished doing some posing. I don't know if I'm just struggling with being softer or what. I don't know if my cortisol levels are just so out of whack because I've not slept this week and I've started a new schedule and it's kind of all over the place. Like I'm really not sure what's going on. I was leaner and harder like back around the beginning of August and I was a month out and I don't know what's going on now like I don't it's like my body has rebounded in a different way this time than it ever has before and I'm just I don't know I don't, I don't know if I'm in my head like I just made an Instagram post about this like I don't I don't know if I'm just struggling mentally or what but I just don't know. Like, I see myself and I'm like, uh-uh. Like, this isn't it. Like, I don't know what's going on. And I did check in with Jamie this morning. And she was just like, how has your sleep been? And I was like, shitty. And she was like, well, that's... There you go. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I'm not feeling good about things. We're in this mock peak week and... Like, I'm afraid it's gonna, it's not gonna go how it, how, it's not gonna go as planned because I don't look the way. Yeah, I'm just afraid this isn't gonna go as planned because normally when I've done something like this, I've been leaner. Like, I've not been this soft. And I don't know if I'm struggling because I'm not as soft, which, I mean, my feedback was that I was, that I looked skinny on stage. So, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about how I look right now. I need to talk to Jamie because I'm just like, what the f fuck is going on, you know? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I would document this for you guys because, you know, this is part of it. And just don't know how I feel about things right now. So... Yeah, that's that. I'll check back in with you guys later. All right, guys, I am headed back to train afternoon clients. I sent Jamie a message just because I was feeling some type of way about everything. Um, and I sent her the videos. She hasn't looked at those yet, but I kind of just told her that I didn't know how I was feeling about this mock peak week because I had done it when I was leaner and I just felt super bloated and all this kind of stuff. And I weighed and I was like, because I felt bloated and I was like 127.4, which is like a five pound weight gain, which I know that was like in the middle of the day, but I'd only had three meals and not all of my water. Um, and usually, why is this not staying? Usually, because I've done this before, I am maybe only two pounds up, not five pounds up. And she, I said, I don't know if it's my cortisol or if it's just my sleep because my sleep has been so messed up. So she said, let's hold off. I did send her the video that I took around lunchtime to see what she thought. I told her I would continue on if we wanted to, but I, that I was afraid that the peak was not going to work out how we had wanted because I'm not as lean, so we're not going to be able to tell. So, um, yeah. So, I'm stressing out bad. Um, I don't know what the going on with my body I am hoping that I get some sleep tonight she wants me to get sleep tonight so I'm gonna 
go home. My boyfriend has a friend in town, so he's gonna be out with him. So I'm gonna try to go to bed early. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna eat my last meal and I'm gonna take two Benadryl. And hope that it knocks me the heck out. Um, and pray <laughs> that when I wake up in the morning, my conditioning is back. I don't, I, I don't know. I've had this happen to me one time before, but I just, I don't know. I, I think it's honestly, she thinks it's from stress and lack of sleep. And me stressing out about it even more isn't helping. So, yeah. Ugh, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do, what's gonna happen. So, I'm just waiting to hear back from her on the video that I sent to see what her thoughts are. I told her, I was like, this could all just be in my head, <laughs> but this is how I'm feeling. And I was like, I, I'm feeling like this mock peak week is not going to work out how we wanted it to because, like, I started doing it in a state where my body was hypersensitive, I'm inflamed from not sleeping, all this kind of stuff. So we're not going to be able to accurately tell what is what's going to happen with it. I don't know. So I'm about three weeks out. So hopefully I can get my sleep under control and all this can be rectified. Mm, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's going on right now. Thought I'd fill you guys in. It's looking like this mock peak week may just be a big barrel of shit. So, that's that. Alright guys, I'll check back in with you later. Good morning guys. It is Saturday, September 19th. Okay, so after Jamie looked at my photos or my videos that I had sent her... Um, yesterday afternoon she said it just looked like I was holding on to water um, and that she wanted me to get some sleep tonight to take some extra court ease and to check in again in the morning that we we're gonna proceed as planned so I relaxed a little bit stopped stressing out I went to bed early I got some good decent sleep I mean it wasn't the best I've ever had but um, could have been better, but I did get some. Um, slept in just a little bit this morning, and I weighed, and I was 121.4, so my weight went back down. So, I feel much more comfortable doing this mock peak week at that weight than the prior weight, because we're about to fill. So, we're about to fill out, um, which means my weight's gonna go up. I didn't wanna go into a mock peak week already holding on to a bunch of water because then when you introduced <clears throat> a bunch of carbs back in you're just gonna hold on to more water so instead of actually filling out and looking hard and having your muscles full of glycogen you're gonna fill out and you're gonna hold on to a bunch of water and I don't want a bunch of water sitting on top of my skin if that makes sense so anyway I'm gonna insert my video that I sent to her this morning where I had dropped weight and I said I was feeling better. And yeah, then we're gonna proceed with the mock peak week today as planned. Um, and I will fill you guys in on all of that. Um, what I'm doing is adding, again, 30 grams of extra carbs in at every meal. I'm also taking vitamin C, B12, and a multi-mineral complex also. What we're doing tonight is we're gonna have a hamburger, fries, and ice cream. Um, because I've said that's what's worked for filling me out in the past. So we're going to have extra carbs at all of my meals up into, to like, I probably won't have my last two meals that I normally have. So I'll probably have four complete meals, all with 30 grams extra carbs. My last meal is going to be the hamburger, fries, and ice cream. I'm going to wake up in the morning, send weight pictures and video once again, and yeah, then we're just going to kind of go from there and see what I need to do. 
Um, I'll also send pictures and video tonight before I go to bed, and I'll insert that in here too. And then what we're gonna do tomorrow is after she see what it's, I look like, um, we're gonna modify my food from there, and I'll be checking in every 90 minutes after a meal. All right, and this is just my first check-in of the morning. Um, I believe I was like 121.4 right here, and this is um, no food, nothing like that. Um, just woke up, went to the bathroom, and took video and sent that off. So this is my first check-in video of the day, and you'll definitely see my body fill out more in the upcoming videos. so far um as i mentioned yesterday i was really freaked out and super nervous because man my body was just kind of all over the place i don't know what was going on um but things seem to be going really well really happy with like how i'm feeling um and what i'm looking like i feel a lot tighter and fuller so I'm just gonna try to roll on with that and yeah, I just kind of wanted to jump on here real quick, give you guys a quick little update. I am pulling up at my apartment, and I've got to go in and get to work. Um, I've got suits I've got to work on, um, client programs. I picked up another new client today, so I've got to work on her program. So, yeah. Um, and I've got to do client scheduling. Client scheduling is, uh, it's always a hassle for me. It takes me like two hours to do. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Things are going really well. I'm trying to feel this upper body out because I was told I was too skinny. So, all right. But, anyway, quick little check-in for you. So this was that night. I believe I was um, like maybe 124 that night. So she pretty much just had me send pictures that pictures and video that morning and right before bed. So this was right before bed um, after just eating a bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's that i think i said i was 124 i was not 124 um i think i was like 125 and a half maybe around 126 so this was right before bed and then the next video you'll see is going to be from sunday all right guys good morning it is sunday september 20th it is about i think it's almost eight o'clock i didn't go to bed till late last night i stayed up watching um what is that Silent Hill or something like that, some uh, Netflix series, but anyway, um, I got up, just did my check-in with Jamie, I feel pretty good about how I look, um, she wants me to do uh, pancakes this morning, so I've got some, going to be making some pancakes here in just a minute, along with some um, turkey bacon and all that kind of stuff, so all right guys that is it i'm gonna eat this meal and now i go into checking in with her every uh, about 90 minutes after a meal so i'm gonna have four ounces of coffee and um my big carb loaded breakfast so this is pre-food um before the pancakes and all that kind of stuff um you can see i'm definitely filled out more um, stomach is still nice and flat, but upper body is much fuller. Um, when I turn to the back, my backside is much fuller as well. Um, I believe I am around 126 right here. Um, so yeah, now we start the 
video and check-ins um, every 90 minutes to two hours after a meal. So you're going to see upcoming videos of that as I progress throughout the day. So this video is taken after 90 minutes after meal number one and I'm just waiting on instructions from Jamie to tell me where to go from there. Um, I think I was 127 right here. I think that's where she liked me the most. So that is um, that. The next one you're going to see is going to be video 90 minutes after my meal right after this video. So again, just taking video every 90 minutes to two hours after a meal to see how my body is adjusting. Okay, another meal down and this was right before I left um, for my meeting that I had to go to at noon. So I was trying to get a meal in before I left for that and she had me eat 10 Oreos. Um, and we we're gonna do rice cakes with honey and peanut butter while I was at the meeting. Um, so that is what you are currently seeing. The next video will be um, check-in video after the meeting, after the rice cakes, honey and peanut butter. Sorry guys, I go ahead and apologize that this, that all of my check-in video isn't full screen. Um, how I send them to Jamie is with my phone upright and this is all coming from my phone. So you're seeing um, pretty much what she's seeing. And um, this again uh, was about two hours after a meal. This was right when I got home from my meeting. And there is that. Hello guys, so. just left a meeting I had to go to. Um, you guys know on Sundays I normally like to not do anything, but I had this meeting, so I am headed home now. I'm gonna take weights and another video to Jamie. Let her tell me what the next moves are and then just kind of go from there. Um, so I filled out really well, but I'll be honest with you, like I'm over eating crap food. Like I woke up this morning, I felt hungover, like I literally had a food hangover, um, and I just want to get back on my plane, <laughs> like, ugh, so, I'm gonna check in with her, see what the next steps are, and just kind of go from there, I'm gonna be posting, you'll see, I'll be posting all my check-in videos in this, um, so you can kind of see what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's that's an update for you. Um, you guys know I normally like to like not do anything on Sundays, but I had a uh, sponsor treat meeting I had to go to, so just finished that. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to rest and relax the rest of the afternoon. Pretty much have everything done. Like, all my cleaning and stuff that I normally do. So, dishes are clean. I've already washed and folded clothes and stuff. So, I just want to go home and rest and relax and chill out for a little bit. So, that's what we're going to do. But Katie got to get out and get into the park for a little bit. So, she got a little bit of exercise in. But, alright guys, that is um, the update so far. And, I'll be checking back in with you later. Okay guys, just another check-in video. Like I said, I'm just letting you guys see my progression of filling out just as Jamie was seeing it. I feel like at this point we we overfilled. Um, that's just my opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Um, I liked how I looked in pretty much the last two videos better than this one. And here we go again, another meal down. Um, still don't feel like this was my best look. Um, I think that was two uh, videos prior to this where I think I filled out, but I was still tight. So, um, but you can tell my glutes have filled out quite a bit and my upper body has. I've always mentioned I have issues with my shoulders. My shoulders still look skinny, but it is what it is. I can only do what I can do. All right, guys, right here, just finished showering. Again, I still feel overfilled here. Um, and, you know, I let Jamie know that as well. Uh, she wanted to keep pushing food just to see kind of what my body did and how it responded and how it would wake up. Um, you can see my glutes are definitely filled out more, but you can tell in my midsection that I'm starting to bloat a little bit and um, hold on to some water. So this was um, not long before I went to bed. The next video will be right before I went to bed. All right, guys, this video was right before I went to bed. Um, again, upper body had filled out, but I still feel super washed out in my midsection, so not very happy with that. Um, but, you know, you got to sacrifice something somewhere whenever you're trying to fill out, especially for me.